He came in, he was a guitar player for that on our first recording, and we just hit it off. He's a, he's a Bulldog fan, which we all are. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. No. Then, then there's fighting words here in Florida. No, 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 no. We're okay with that. <laughs> so, Alex, you're going to be playing with Jesse for a little bit. Yeah. Tailgate on the bus and stuff. Yeah. Well, we hadn't gotten there yet. We, we just got on the bus last night. Well, that's so. true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. But we will. Well, Will's a Florida State boy. He, he went to school there, so we got we got some Floridian in the bus there. Got a little bit of bad blood running around. <laughs> that makes it more fun, though, doesn't it? It does. I mean, he's outnumbered, so he needs to shut up. <laughs> well, we took some questions off of Facebook to ask you guys today, and then we'll do some audience questions a little bit as well. Um, Susan Allen wants to know that if you could duet with any female singer, who would it be? Susan <laughs> guys don't. No, no. I, I mean, of course you think Taylor Swift because she'd have a large audience. <laughs> then you kind of go, you know, Molly would be kind of fun. You know, the after show would be fun. Yeah. Well, actually, during the show yeah. seems to be fun with her. So. Exactly. It depends on what mood we're in, I guess. Who would you go with? Celine Dion, just because she's awesome. <laughs> 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 right. Good answer, Jesse. Good answer, Jesse. You are, Jesse. Everything changes her life, remember? That's true. How, how did she do that? She's like, I came here to Orlando and it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Um, uh, Bill Daniels wants to know what's your favorite album and uh, what was the most fun? <clears throat> Of ours? Yes, yours. Oh, I like the new one, and it was the most fun. And, you know, you think you have to approach it that way because you, um, you want to grow, you want to get better at what you do. So, and this one was definitely fun. It was, you know, having Johnny Rabb, our new drummer, in there. I mean, it's, he's a crack up all the time. And um, it just went real smooth. And which one's your favorite, Jesse? Seems you've only played on one. <laughs> The new one. <laughs> <laughs> it changed her life. It changed my life. <laughs> um, Eric Thompson wants to know what's the strangest thing that has ever happened to you on stage? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. 
That's, 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 that's not fair. <laughs> a lot of people get in trouble, especially Jesse. Easy. Easy. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, actually, LT kind of already asked the question. Ryan said that uh, he loves you're a driving and crime fan. He's from Georgia and oh, cool. said, "How are you guys? Um, or how do you guys, you know, deal with football action out on the road?" I guess is his question. Oh, we just turn the TV on. Actually, you find a bar or something, sit down, have yeah, a pint, right. and start rooting. Uh, big Falcons fans too, so we just like football. It's fun to watch. You know? Awesome. All right, well, it's good to have questions. Sure. Oh, it's really nice to have football back. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. For sure. What are you guys going to do for us next? Uh, it's called Are You the Answer? Show me. 
yourself a newfound pity Sitting alone in New York City I don't know why And so any of your music, it always just brings you back, back. Well, that's you know, cool. you know, to a time. So that's cool. It's an honor. And so that's, you know, this is where we got our start, right here at the station. Awesome. This is the first station that played us. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. That's Steve, right? Back in the day? Wow. Steve, 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 Steve Robson, yeah. Well, that is amazing. Yeah, so we, we were driving down here, we had no idea people even liked us. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing a show, and all of a sudden, now, and somehow there was a top five on five. I love telling the stories. We had no idea. Yeah. And uh, I think at the time it was like Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and we were talking like, man, one day it'd be cool to hear us on the radio and be number one, you know? And all of a sudden they're like, and number one, a band really nobody knows about, Collective like Soul. <laughs> <laughs> we like, what just happened? Wow. Yeah, definitely, yes. Yeah, we pulled the car over and just kind of looked at each other, kind of like we do now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's great. Does it still feel the same way? You know, I mean, obviously your songs are on the radio all the time, but... And in Walmart you know. and random places everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you're shopping and you hear your songs. I mean, you know, we, don't go, we don't go home and put Collective Soul on, but when you hear it out on the radio, I mean, that, there's, a, there's a lot of pride that goes with that, and we're blessed and very grateful. So, yeah, I dig it every time I hear it out. That's awesome. Well, we're happy that you're here today. Uh, we have some questions from the audience for you. Yeah. All right, this is Steve-O. All right, I've seen you guys several times, and I know with you, you do a lot of uh, microphone stand trickery up on stage. Has there ever been a serious injury you've done to yourself during <laughs> such trickeries? Well, like it's pretty I guess it just the, the only time I've ever fallen, I did a, I, I like a clown jumped off the 
drum riser last year somewhere in Arizona and didn't, well, I landed on my feet, I just didn't stay there. <laughs> so it was at the end of the song, and I, thank God nobody saw it, but I got up and was like, you're embarrassed first. You're like, oh, God, you have, to, you have impressively never... I've never seen you. Knock on somebody. Knock on the, the microphone stand thing. I've, you, that's, you've no, I haven't done that. I've dropped it a couple of times, but that's about it. Nothing dangerous. You like it. All right, David? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm Rosie from Conyers, Georgia. Oh, nice. Yeah, Stockbridge, right yeah. on the street. Yeah, so you should drive Madison. Through. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, cool. You were right in the middle of us. <laughs> yeah, but I used to drive through Stockbridge every day. I used to work over by South Lake. And mm -hmm. uh, all of us saw real, real studios and never knew what it was. Yeah, uh, so. You guys still record there? Or? No, they actually moved it. You know, my dad was a minister there too, so you drove oh, yeah. right past his church. And then, right. then all the sinners went over to the studio, and that's where we got uh, <laughs> 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 first kind of got our start. That's how I worked in that studio and kind of learned the trick of the trade. But no, I actually just went up to Stockbridge. I've been there in about 20 years. Actually, oh, uh, y'all live in Atlanta now. Right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, Nashville. My brother Dean lives in Venice. Right. Will is down on the South Side still, and then Johnny Rad lives in Indy, Indianapolis. And I noticed you guys are going to be at the Tabernacle on the third. So uh, I know the Georgia Alabama. Georgia, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Thank you for reminding <laughs> us. <laughs> See these these agents yeah. and manager that are managers on the West Coast. They don't understand SEC football. <laughs> I mean, they seriously just don't get it. I'm like, you just booked us win? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? It's like Easter Sunday. Like. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. That's funny. All right, Glenn, you got a question? I got a question. Uh, it's been six years since you put out your last album. The industry has changed dramatically with technology and the download, leading some people like Gene Simmons to say, rock is dead. Is that a consideration for you guys? Do you pay any attention to anything like that? I'm breathing. Gene's <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. He, Gene says what Gene thinks. He's kind of like the Donald Trump of rock and roll. You know? <laughs> so, or maybe Gene, Donald Trump's the Gene Simmons of politics. I don't know. It works. <laughs> Which is great. I love that. Just speak it. But great rock's not dead. Has anybody heard of the little band called Foo Fighters around lately? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's all good. It's still rocking. We're still here. We have jobs. We're the rock stage. All right. Um, Rick, what's your question? Okay. You guys have been around a long time. There's a lot of talented musicians out there right now. Mm -hmm. What is on your turntable? Uh, mine, I, I like the head and the heart. I really like that. And Brandon Flowers uh, did a solo record from The Killers, his new one. I love, we love that record. What else are we listening to? Yeah, we got caught up in that. And then... Before we left the other night, we started turning, spinning records. What were we listening to? Johnny up got into Super Tramp all of a sudden. Yes. <laughs> he was he was going back. Yeah. <laughs> what else were we listening to? We had some a lot of space in his bill. Yeah. So, we're all over the place. And you do spin model, correct? Yes, I do. Great, great. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Love awesome. it. <laughs> all right, Janelle's got a question. Thank you so much for entertaining myself, everybody in this room, and all my friends who have listened to you for years and really enjoy your music. Thank you. Um, I don't think everybody knows where your name came from. Could you share that with us today? My name came from my father. No, I'm, not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a junior, so <laughs> it, it came from a, a Anne Rand's The Fountainhead the novel, and it was what. It just sounded cool. I, before we were called Marching Two Step, and I was we were we were doing this little documentary. And I was trying to think, and we actually did a show, and they were named Brothers and Brides, and the band was not happy about that one. <laughs> and then I think we did one show under the band name Cinema, and that just didn't go over well either. And then I just came in and was like, Hey, what about Collective Soul? And they were like, Okay. And it was just everybody liked it, and there was no fighting, and it was you know worked out fine so far. Thank you. Thank right, you. We, got, we got one more question for you, for Jeff over here. <clears throat> All right. How you guys doing? Pleasure to be here again. And uh, question, if you could be in any other band other than something you've been in, the anything for the past or the future, totally different band other than what you've been in, mm -hmm. what band would that be? Well, I'll start with the Beatles right there. There's some talented guys in there. <laughs> and, you know, Stone, Zeppelin. I don't uh, I mean, that, that, that's, I love all that stuff. I mean, you guys, yeah, yeah. Beatles. Kick Paul out of the band. 
You go, you go with Pete. You and Pete out. <laughs> Ringo and Ed are in. Huh? You thought of being a band with Sammy and Michael? Oh, that's true. Yeah. They're fine boys. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Hager. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like the band, though, yeah. <laughs> like it. Are you guys want to play us another song? Yeah. All right, Collective Soul, streaming live, WJR.com. Continuing coming out on Friday Correct. at Walmart. I randomly mentioned Walmart earlier, and it says the exclusive I don't know. at Walmart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you guys watching on the stream at wjr.com didn't get a chance to have any of your questions answered, you guys are doing a Reddit Ask Me Anything tomorrow. That is going to be at four o'clock, from what I understand. If nobody uh, knows what Reddit is, it's something on the interwebs. Kids, look it up. Okay. <laughs> Tonight, House of 
Blues. Um, so this is kicking off your tour tonight, right? This is it. So That's what right. do we expect to have tonight? A little love of the new album? All of the above. Excellent. I'm going to work some keys out of some old ones we haven't played in a long time. Yes. Well, that is great to hear. It'll be fun. All right, guys, give it up for Collective Soul. Thanks so Get on lined up over here to the right, if y'all don't mind.